And IP just showing that that doesn't matter whatsoever. 33 will be found up top. They'll even look for more underneath the tower. Ace just jumping in aggressively, looking for Alpha Ninja. It's trading hits. Alpha Ninja falling pretty low. Sorup will heal him up. They have lost the Shadow Demon on Fada. NIP, but Fada on the front lines with the Crimson Guard, not caring too much about the right flicks from the birds. Does care a little bit about the Doom, though, as he's falling low. He's actually going to die. 33 oh no. bought back 33? for this one. No. He TP it in. He's been caught by the stun. <laughs> will make quite a difference, though. That actually might be enough to, to catch him up to the farm of Ace. It's Ace. Quick to blink away in the river. They have found the trap onto FNG. The Chain Frost bounces. Not quite enough oh, to kill him, but Fada, he's dead. trying to chase. Fada's been doomed. You're right, Ace has gone, and Fada, he's almost certainly going to die as well. It's NIP. They lose PPD. They lose Fada. They lose Ace. Chain that means that Gambit will be able to escape this engagement. Roshan, by the way, did not die before that fight started. Naive, invisible for the moment, disrupted for a saving by Zayac. Another stun coming out, but the vacuum oh, and the stun hill. Quadruple stun, meteor hammer over the top. Tries to buy some time as well. His teammates come in with the Phantasm as well, but the Ravage is there. The Ravage already finishes up Zayac himself. Ghostic, his Phantasm illusion still somewhat alive, and Kuman at the back end does fall. He tried to go for FNG, but couldn't get the kill. Two for zero for now in favor neck. of Gambit. Naive. Soulbound to an illusion, and he cannot escape this one. That, ooh, or can he? He jumps forward. Immersion is already still there, and the Gush will eventually finish him off. One second stun is not enough to buy Ghostic time to walk to the high ground, and with Gambit just chasing through those tier three towers. Yep. Uh, Shackles, he's right there. Smoke came in out. Alpha 9, he's the one that's doing up a boxy. He's going to be giving up damage at this rate. He may not die in time, but he's definitely dying after the fact. Anyways, he's out for 80 seconds. And here's that huge opening now for Gambit to go cutthroat. Mickey slowing down the cast, put on top of the Requiem from a distance, mitigating some damage, but it's not nearly enough. He gets taken out. They lost the Coddle. They're going to lose. Second's going to be controlled for. He's going to be beating down the racks. The back to hockey. He goes oh, in the oh. center. His eclipse comes out. Lone Druid has bursted down like crazy. No Glimmer Cape saving him right there. Kata also goes down. And Crystal is like, you know what? I got to get the hell on out. He just TPs away as his teammates are going to fall around him. So probably the right call, but obviously a great initiation from Gambit as they make it a four for nothing. Yeah. Omni Slash is ready as well. Dire team fighting into the sun. Night Jump with the Willow Wisp opening. FNG Kata Merger pushed rabbit, up right. right there with the blinding light. So he's in a horrible spot now because of that. So, and we're not done just yet. Omni Slash, Olan Razor, Popsy Yulzo, he'll be fine. J jumps over to Blizzy. It's going back and forth. Wukong's command is throwing down, but the Hawk just doing too much damage. No. The Link comes out. Blizzy actually going to live. Never mind. Sonic Wave finishes the job in the back lens. Looks like there's still more action happening as Afterlife. He popped the Phantasm, takes out Cottle. Razor is going to get finished off at the Hawk. And Crystallize, he he's just going to try to run away the best that he can, Chew. It's a lot more difficult for him as Monkey King leaps into the trees, but. Oh, this scares me. Yeah, he's, he's, oh, he's got to get the plunger out. I know you have a PA. Oh, hang on. Oh, the hack. There's the Ravage onto half an inch. Oh, that was a big Ravage. They see yes, that range of it. Getting to hack and immersion oh, on the side. Not. It doesn't matter. Vada, <laughs> the Monkey King is out. Zach's, oh, it's an RP, but they, there's no they're follow up. That's all. Shockwave's going to be down. They've got to start and run now. Oh, that could JB falls in with the Phantasm. He drags in the Lich in the river. They also end up losing Ace. They're split up. They're all over the place. NIP. What? What can you do? It's three on five, but look at this. Like, okay, they're going to try and commit. With the BKB and the Rage, they're going in, but the Stone Gaze is there and already. The Hacks on top of Fada getting the bashes out. Now they have to back up with the BKB and the Rage wearing off, but old Echo J before jumps in on top of Ace. Ace, he's been sprouted by his own teammates. Next, Ace cannot next. escape. The Stone comes out from Immersion onto Fada. Both calls dead. PPD getting collapsed upon behind the tower. Saxon will blinding light back. Both the Hack and Immersion, but it's not going to stop them chasing down the captain as PPD falls. 33 cannot TP out of this. Four dead. On NIP, yeah. and uh, they just snowball the game. You probably kill Ace here. He's got to get. Yeah, he's just dead. I think. All right, good gang. Yep. That's Lich, the top farmer. If Lich is there, of course, he's fine. But alas, he's not. And oh my God, Afro Ninja. Oh, Whoa, wait, oh, wait, Fada, Fada, what's he doing? What are you doing? He just, he just stood next to him. He could have backed off, done some quill cool sprays from the side, but now he dies. That gives Afro Ninja level six. He's gonna look to chase down Saxa. Saxa, he's gonna die with Dag being on the high uh. ground.